Hi, Celebrant Lindy, Celebrant Train in Scotland, and I'm here with a wee question just for you. Are you somebody who is at heart a storyteller? And if so, do you love listening to the life and love stories of other people? Do you like to write? Would you uh, describe yourself as creative? And if so, are you considering a new career, either a full-time, part-time or maybe even a hobby career. Maybe you're somebody who's retired and you are looking for something fulfilling but rewarding to fill your time. Well, if that is you, have you considered becoming a wedding, family and or funeral celebrant? Because I just happen to know somebody who's running some courses at the end of the year that could be very helpful for you. So on the 1st to the 4th of October this year, right here in Stirling, I will be running the first Celebrant Training Scotland Certificate and Funeral Celebrancy. And then towards the end of the month, we will be having the, I think it's 21st to 24th of October, we'll be having the Celebrant Training Scotland Certificate and Wedding and Family Celebrancy. And both courses are four days long and they are gonna be packed full of everything you need to know about becoming a celebrant. So not only are we going to cover all the practicalities, not only are you going to get all the resources that you'll need, questionnaires and uh, session notes and course workbooks, but also the last day of each course we are going to focus on how you then go out and build and develop your celebrant business because I know there are a lot of courses out there that are great at teaching the practicalities of being a celebrant but then they don't actually offer any guidance on where you go once the course is finished and so I wanted to put together a, an affordable course that was not only going to teach the practicalities but was then going to say right where do you go from here and I'm really excited about the course. I think it's going to be fabulous. As I say, it's going to be packed full. We are putting a lot into four days. And the reason it is just four days is really because there are not that many people that can afford to take off two weeks, three weeks to keep coming along to a course. Of, of course, with the expense that that then entails. And so what we've tried to do is condense it, put it into the four days. But in September, I am going to be running some online sessions so we can start to look at the material, we can start to talk to each other so that we, we are already immersed in the course programme before we even get into the classroom. So it's going to be wonderful. As I say, if that is you, if you are somebody who likes speaking in public, if you're somebody who enjoys writing, you don't have to be a brilliant writer, you don't have to be a world-class writer, but you do have to enjoy writing. If you're somebody that's a people person and that likes talking to people, if you're non-judgmental, if you're a good listener, well, then this might just be the right opportunity for you and I would absolutely love to hear from you. So if this piques your interest, even in the tiniest wee way, then please, why not get in touch at um, hello at celebranttrainingscotland.co.uk or you can drop, you can phone me. You can um, give me a wee phone in 07845053509 or even private message me here on Facebook and I will get back in touch. At the moment, there's only one place left in the wedding and family training course this year. I am only running one course a year. I don't want to be churning out new celebrants month after month, so I'm only going to run one course. The wedding and family celebrant training course this year has one space left, but there are five spaces left on the funeral celebrant training. So, if you're interested, don't hang about. Why not get in touch? Because I would absolutely love to hear from you. And even more, I'd absolutely love to see you in the classroom.